Hey guys, this is Ali. I'm head of product at Boundless Digital. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can automate the deployment of a VMX onto AWS. So to do so, we're going to be using the AWS APIs as well as the Meraki APIs. And so if you aren't really familiar with uh, Meraki APIs, I would definitely recommend checking out my course. I will post a link to that in the description below. Um, if you are, then you should find this pretty easy to follow. I'm essentially just going to take a look at the documentation on Meraki and on AWS, and then follow that up by actually looking through the code and deploying it to see what the results look like. So what is a Meraki VMX? Essentially, it is just a virtual version of the Meraki security appliance, and it is completely hosted in the cloud. So I'm on the Meraki VMX small product page over here. And the code that I'm going to show you is relevant to all the VMXs. So that shouldn't really matter, but we're just going to work with the small. So critically, all we need to know is that only the license is required. And so that means we don't need to have any hardware device. As soon as we get the license into our dashboard, it is available for us to use. And secondly, that a bunch of cloud providers are used over here. AWS is your Google Cloud. We're specifically going to be working with AWS. So because we can deploy these straight into the cloud, I believe that it makes them much easier to deploy and scale in terms of appliances specifically, as opposed to working with the regular MX line, obviously because you have to rely on hardware in that scenario. So as we work with AWS, I'll show you some of the tools that we're going to use, the first of which is going to be EC2. So we're going to create an EC2 instance on AWS where our VMX is essentially going to live. So an EC2 instance is a virtual computing environment that we create on AWS. You don't need to know uh, the ins and outs of this and the details, but I would suggest that you look through these docs and I'll share them in the description as well. And that's especially if you intend to use the code that I'm going to share. Now, on top of that, we are going to use Boto3, which is the AWS SDK for Python. So similar to the Meraki SDK that we've worked with before, this allows us to make API calls and work more effectively with AWS. So with these two tools in mind, um, let's also look at a quick start guide. Cisco Meraki essentially worked with AWS to create this. And the motivation behind this is to make it a little bit more easy to actually deploy VMXs into production environments. This deployment guide is very, very detailed. So it looks at using two VMXs and as you can see, explains all the infrastructure related stuff. So it's actually for a proper production network. Whereas the code that I'm going to show you is a little bit more flexible and more so will set you on the right foot for starting to test with a VMX and see if it's the right fit for you and your network. So this guide goes into a lot of details, a lot of general AWS stuff as well. And so I would actually really encourage you guys to get a little bit acquainted with AWS if you aren't already familiar with common cloud providers. Um, so yeah, we can go through this. It tells us some of the things that we need to configure on the AWS side, some of the things that we need to configure on the dashboard side as well, like setting some network tags. We need a pair of VMXs for this to work. Um, some of the things we need for the architecture, but one of the most important things that I want to show you guys over here is the authentication token. So essentially, when um, you go to configure your VMX, one of the parameters that you need to enter here is the authentication token which is essentially what allows the cloud provider to link to the VMX on your Meraki dashboard. And this only lasts for an hour, so it has to be created and done during the deployment process. Previously, there was no way to automate this. And just last week, Cisco Meraki released this new shiny API endpoint called Create Device Application VMX Authentication Token, and it allows us to do exactly this. So when we make this API call, we can generate an auth token, and that is what is received. And then that auth token can, can be used to automate the deployment on the AWS side. So previously, none of this was actually possible. But with this endpoint, we have to have no manual interference in the VMX deployment process and can do things entirely manually. So let's look at some of the code that I have written over here. Essentially, we're going to be using this scale up function, and I'll explain that to you guys. So the first part of this essentially gets the organization. 
I'm using the click library in Python, which allows us to input an organization for which we want to deploy the BMX, but it also has a default set over here, which is my organization. So essentially the get organization will grab the org ID for um, the organization that you want to work with based on a name that you've entered. Then we've got the get available VMX function. So we can take a look at that one. Essentially, based on the organization ID, this is going to get all the inventory devices, uh, sort which ones are VMXs, and then see the first available VMX that you have that's not being used, right? And once we get the serial for that VMX, we will use that to create a new network. So we have to create an appliance type network for the VMX that cannot be hosted in combined networks. And so this function is actually going to return the network ID for that newly created network as well as the authentication token, which is the endpoint that we just looked at. So yeah, essentially we create a network, we claim that BMX into that network, and then we generate an authentication token. Once we have those things, we are ready to create the BMX instance on the AWS side. So this create BMX instance function essentially does that. And we have to use a instance type of C5.large. Um, there's a few instance types, but I believe it's actually necessary to run a VMX. You need to have the large one. So I would recommend you go with this. So we essentially just do some basic EC2 configurations over here, like the name and the value. And essentially what we really want to do is create kind of a base for anyone to use this code and do whatever they'd like with the VMX. The goal here is to just show how you can automate completely from zero to hundred the deployment of a VMX on AWS. So now that you guys have seen the code, we can actually run it as well. And I'm simply going to So yeah, there we have it. Um, the function returned the auth token, and then that auth token was used to deploy the VMX network on Cisco Meraki. So we can even look at our Meraki dashboard and see if the network was created. And there we have it, um, the network. It's not currently online yet. We can see the device is there, but it's appearing offline. Uh, it's normal for it to take a couple of minutes to sync with EC2. Um, I could actually look as well on our AWS dashboard if we have any instances running, which would tell us that that last function worked as well. So I can see I do have an EC2 instance over here, and that is the Cisco Meraki VMX one, which is what I just created as well. So yeah, I believe that should be online anytime. So yeah, guys, that was how you can deploy a VMX onto AWS using just the APIs. You can find the code on our GitHub. I'll obviously link to that in the description below. And if you run into any problems running the code, feel free to drop a comment below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. What we've really built here in this version of the code though is a relatively simple solution, essentially just automating the deployment. But what I'm trying to work on next is to build an auto-scalable solution that removes and adds VMXs to AWS. As your environment scales or your environment decreases, obviously we don't want to have unnecessary VMX instances running on AWS. So what we're going to have here is something that is dynamic and with the amount of traffic that you have, deploys VMXs and diverts traffic all automatically. And if you want to try to build that, of course, go ahead. Other than that, I will see you in the next video.